This is a 22 minute morning full body stretch yoga practice. I'm Stephen Iwashki of Adventure Yoga, and I'm gonna guide you through this practice to wake your body up, wake your mind up, and get you ready for whatever your day has in store for you. If that sounds great, please join me, unroll your mat, and we'll get started. Namaste. Please come into child's pose. For this child's pose, take your knees wide, place your feet flat and bring your big toes together to touch. Sit back on your heels, walk your hands forward and fold forward. And then walk your fingers forward a little bit more so that your elbows come off the ground, your arms stretch straight. Push through your hands down and forward to stretch your hips back a little bit more so your hips get heavier on your heels and you get a little side stretch. Start to stretch out your body and wake yourself up. Wake your toes up and push down through your toes. Push your hands down and forward, stretch your hips back, stretch through your sides. Balasana, child's pose. Start to wake your breath up. Inhale a little longer. And make your exhale a little longer. Slide your hands back to your knees and sit up. And come into a cross-legged seated position. Sukhasana. Sit up tall. take a couple of deeper, fuller breaths to wake yourself up. Take your right hand to the ground beside you. Place your right hand flat. Lean to the right a little so your right elbow bends. Stretch your left arm up. And side bend to the right. Push your left hip down and stretch through your left arm so you get more stretch through the left side of your body. You can always bend your elbow a little more, your right elbow, so you lower a little more. Stretch out through your left arm, push down through your left hip. And breathe. And then come up to center. Place your left hand on the ground. Bend your left elbow a little, stretch your right arm up. And side bend to the left. Push down through your right hip. That's so that you can get more stretch through your right side. Stretch out through your right fingers. Bend your left elbow a little more and side bend. And breathe. It's amazing how much breath focus can wake us up. So just focus a little more on your breath. And come up to center. Stretch both arms up. To the right twist. Push down through your left hip. Move your left hand back a little bit and twist a little more. Stretch up and then take your left hand, hold above your right knee. Take your right hand, place it on your lower back. Move both shoulders back, open your chest, sit up tall and gently twist a little more. Just a nice gentle seated twist to start waking up our spine. Tone your belly, tone your lower back, stay in the twist, and stretch your arms up. And come back to center. Twist to the left. Push down through your right hip. Move your right hand back a little bit and twist a little more to the left. Stretch up tall and take your right hand above your left knee. Take your left hand to your lower back. Move both shoulders back and open your chest. Sit up tall and gently twist a little bit more to the left. Steady your breath. To help you stay in the twist, tone your belly, tone your lower back, and stretch your arms up in the twist. Just like we did on the first side, and then come back to center. Bring your hands down to your lap. 
and please come onto your hands and knees. Did you know this is a fancy Sanskrit name? This one's called Barmanasana in Sanskrit. But you, we usually call it hands and knees. Bring your shoulders over your wrists, have your knees a little bit behind your hip points. And move through a few rounds of cat-cow. Inhale to round your back, tuck your butt underneath you. Stay here, stretch through your spine. Really lift your belly, tuck your butt underneath you, look towards your belly, and then move into cow. Move your chest forward and up, move your hips back and up. And move your shoulders away from your ears and stay here. This is a nice stretch for the front of your body to wake up the front. So lift up through your chest more, lift up through your hips more, stretch your belly. And then move back into cat, inhale, and exhale your way into cow. Inhale, cat, exhale, cow. Two more, inhale, cat, exhale, cow. And one more of each, inhale, stretch your spine. Exhale, stretch your belly. And then come to a neutral position, Barmanasana, all fours. Stretch your right arm forward and turn your right palm in. Stretch your left leg back, point your left knee down, but straighten your leg. Lift through your left leg, lift through your right thumb, look forward, look up. And then bring your left knee, right elbow, to touch underneath you. So round your back like cat pose, bring your elbow and knee to touch, bring your face towards your knee and elbow combo, and then stretch your left leg out, right arm forward, look up, lift your left leg, lift your right arm, do a little back bend. And then elbow to knee, knee to elbow, nose to elbow knee combo. Stretch it out, look forward, look up. Exhale, elbow to knee, inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, nose, elbow, knee together. Inhale, stretch it out. Bring your right hand down, left knee down. Stretch your left arm out. Turn your palm in, stretch your right leg back. Point your knee down, lift your left thumb up, look forward. Do a little back bend, and then do this work on the other side. Left elbow, right knee to touch, round your back, bring your nose towards your elbow and knee and then stretch it out, lift your right leg higher, lift your left thumb higher, look forward, do a little back bend, inhale, exhale, elbow, knee, nose towards each other, inhale, stretch it out, lift up, exhale in, inhale out, exhale in, inhale out, lift your right leg, left arm, lift your gaze, and exhale in. Inhale out, left hand down, right knee down. Sit on your heels, sit up tall. Vajrasana. Just gonna center myself a little more. Behind your back, interlace your fingers. Bend your elbows. Roll your shoulders back, turn your upper arms out, and straighten your arms. Lift your hands away from your lower back. Tone your belly, sit up tall. Stretch your shoulders, stretch your chest, and smile. Steady your breath. I keep coming back to your breath because that's gonna help oxygenate your mind, wake you up. Release your hands. Roll your shoulders, loosen them up a little bit, and then come into downward facing dog with your knees bent. So place your hands on your mat, walk your knees back, tuck your toes under, lift your knees up, lift your hips up and back as you move your chest back, but keep your knees bent. So it's a bent knee down dog. If you're used to doing this with straight legs, don't be in a rush. We're waking our body up here. 
push through your hands, push forward, stretch your hips up and back. You might remember that similar action from our child's pose that we started class with. And then keep your left knee bent, straighten your right leg. Stretch your right heel back and down so you stretch and open the back of your right leg, your calf muscles. Engage your right knee to activate the front of the upper right leg. And stretch back through your right hip a little, push through both hands. And then change sides. Bend your right knee, lift your right heel. Straighten your left leg, stretch your left heel back and down. You might feel this in the calf muscles of your left leg. Good. We're going to open that up. That's what we're working for. Tighten up your left knee to engage the quads on your left leg, the upper left leg on the front. Then stretch back through your left hip. Push down and forward with both hands. And steady your breath. And then let's make this a little more dynamic. Bend your left knee, straighten your right leg. Bend your right knee, straighten your left leg. And play with that. We call this walk the dog. Something we often do in the morning. So walk your dog here. And then come to both knees bent. And walk your hands back. Bring your feet flat to the ground. And come to Uttanasana at the back of your mat. Fold over your legs and breathe. If you can't touch the ground with your legs straight, that's no problem. Bend your knees until you can touch the ground. Relax your head. And then slowly walk your hands forward back into downward facing dog. Stretch through your heels, push your hands down and forward, move your chest back, lift your hips up. You could do downward facing dog here with legs straight, or if you prefer it with your knees bent, you can go to knees bent. Walk your hands back, come back part way, and then separate your feet a little more. Turn your toes out, and then walk your hands back more. Come into the squat, Malasana. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Lift your chest. Push back with your arms, but resist a little with your legs. Then come into Uttanasana, the forward fold again. Place your hands flat, turn your toes to point straight ahead, and then lift your hips, stand up, and fold forward over your legs. Touch the ground, so bend your knees as much as you need to to keep touching the ground. You might not need to. You might be able to touch the ground and have your legs straight. Do that. And then walk your hands forward again, back to downward facing dog. Stretch it out in down dog. Lift your right leg up and back behind you. Three-legged dog. Keep lifting your right leg. Lift your right hip. Bend your right knee and stretch your right knee over to the left. Get a big opening on your right side of your body. Even look under your right arm and stretch. And then step your right foot forward Come into the lunge. Big step. Shift forward. Step your right foot forward. Going into warrior two. Turn your left heel down. Push down through your feet. And come up. Warrior two. Find your Vira Bhadrasana two. Bend into your right knee. Stretch your arms forward. And breathe. Stretch out through your legs, but also draw in from the ground. Turn your right palm up. Inhale, and then reverse your warrior. Slide your left hand down your leg. Straighten your front leg. And come up and into Trikonasana. We're going to move through those three poses twice more.
Warrior two, bend into your right knee, lift your torso, and reverse warrior. Straighten your front leg, and triangle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Straighten your right leg, inhale, come up, and exhale, Trikonasana. Step it back, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. Reach your left leg up and over, bend your left knee. And then reach your left knee back, even look under your left arm and look up. And then same thing we did on the other side. Step your left leg forward. So shift it forward and step your left foot up. Turn your right heel down for warrior two. Push down through your feet and rise up. Virabhadrasana two. Stretch out through your left knee. Stretch out through your legs, but also draw up and into the pose. Turn your left palm up and reverse your warrior. Slide your right hand down your right leg. Curl it back. Straighten your front leg, and then come up, shift forward, and bring your left arm down, Trikonasana. Stretch out through your arm, stretch out through your leg. Same three poses again, two more times. Inhale, come up, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Straighten your left leg, inhale, come up, and then exhale into Trikonasana. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Come up. Exhale, Trikonasana. Downward facing dog. Right hand down, left hand forward. Step it back. Downward facing dog. Bend your knees and look forward. And walk to the top of your mat. Bend your knees and sit down and lie down. Lie down on your back. Straighten both legs. Straighten your arms at your sides. Bring your right knee up into your chest. Then take your left hand and hold outside your right knee. Take your right hand, stretch it out to the side, place your right palm flat on the ground. And then twist your right knee across your body over to the left. Parivritta Supta Padagustasana. I like to rest my right foot on my left leg here, so you can try that if you like, and look over your right shoulder. Push your right shoulder down. Stretch your right knee to the left. Twist your spine. Steady your breath. With an inhale, come up to center and stretch your right leg out to meet your left. Bring your arms to your sides. Bend your left knee into your chest and with your right hand, hold outside your left knee. Stretch your left arm over to the left, place your left palm flat on the ground and then twist to the right. Look over your left shoulder, rest your left foot on your right leg, push down through your left hand, left shoulder, Stretch your left knee to the right and twist your spine. And steady your breath. Parivritta Supta Paragustasana. This means twisted, really big foot pose on your back. But we're doing it with the bent knee to give ourselves a nice gentle opening twist. With an inhale, come back up to center. Stretch your left leg out to meet your right. Bring your arms to your sides. And then bring both knees into your chest. Hold the fronts of your shins. And you can bring your knees in as close as you like to your chest. Some of you will want your knees a bit further away than others. So just find a spot that feels comfortable for you. And even rock a little on your back. Maybe make little circles with your lower back. Maybe just rock back and forth, or side to side. You might also just prefer to be still here. 
Cheers. Even though this is a short practice, we're going to end with a Shavasana. This will be about a two minute Shavasana. Stretch your legs out, separate your feet, turn your palms up at your sides, tuck your shoulders underneath you, and close your eyes. Relax your legs, relax your hands and arms. Close your eyes to relax your eyes and your whole face. Release your breath. And take a moment here to process all of that waking up of your body and stretching. Deep in your breath. Move your fingers and toes. Move your wrists your ankles, stretch through your legs and arms, and then stretch your arms up all the way overhead and stretch long, point your toes, stretch your toes and your fingers, and bend your knees and turn onto your side, and press yourself up to seated, come up to a seated position, close your eyes, bring your hands in front of your chest, in the prayer position, Anjali Mudra, and sit up tall. I hope this practice helped you wake up, open up your body, and prepare you for whatever your day has to offer. Thanks so much for practicing. See you again on the mat soon. Namaste. Thanks for joining me for your morning practice today. If you're looking for classes to do with me in the future, I recommend this class here. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, you can do that by clicking up there. I'm Stephen Iwashiki from Adventure Yoga. Thank you, and I'll see you on the mat soon.